Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Palmisano here. Hope you're having a great day. I wanted to take one second before we jump into this Monty Montgomery. Uh, I got an email from Darren from Tonic Amps. Um, and he, he wrote me this, this, this incredibly thoughtful note. You guys know my email's really backed up, but I did a bunch this morning. And um, he said, uh, on a side note, an artist he has endorsed for many years is having extreme depression due to the current situation with COVID and closure of all live music venues. He's essentially homeless because he cannot make a living without performing regularly. I had to talk him down last night to the point of getting help, and he even talked about taking his own life. If you could see it in your heart to mention finding help for those in similar straits on your YouTube channel, it would be very much appreciated. Darren, it is absolutely worth mentioning and, and, and bringing to light how horrible it is um, for so many musicians and so many people during this time right now who their entire livelihood has been stripped away from them. Um, my heart sincerely goes out to your friend, and I have many friends of my own here in Baltimore um, that are, are basically destitute uh, because of this, and it, it really breaks my heart. Um, I used to be someone who made their entire living for many years hand-to-mouth, cash-and-carry, um, gig-to-gig. And for those, for those that uh, were living that way during and had COVID hit, I mean, they're, 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 I can't imagine the hardships that they're going through. Uh, and so for anybody out there that is feeling that way, reach out to a friend, reach out to a family member. Um, you'd be surprised how many people love you and care about you and will try to move mountains for you if you just pick up the phone or knock on the door and you ask. There's no shame in that. This is a ridiculous global pandemic and you spent your entire life trying, committing to getting good at something and sharing that with people. And you'd be surprised how many people will try to help if they only know you need it. So Darren, thank you for that. Next on the email list, I got an email from Colby, who wants his favorite guitarist of all time, the Austin, I believe Austin native, Monty Montgomery. So then I went on the website here, checked out the React request, searched for Monty Montgomery, and I, here we go. When will I? So Colby and Alvin, this is for you here. Let's jump in. Now I have heard of Monty Montgomery. It's been a long time, but I remember him being fantastic. Let's do it. <laughs> Complete luck of the draw. I just recorded, you can tell because I'm wearing the same shirt, that I'm on fire video with uh, uh, Josh and Carson. Um, also happened to be in E flat. Uh, so what this is is a one five six four uh, in E flat. He looks like he's tuned to E, so you're getting the open string. So I'm not going to get the exact same sound and voicings, etc. But so you have one chord, A flat, five E flat, six F, four D flat.
Dig it. Dig it, dig it, dig it. He's got a super toppy sound. A super sharp, like like it's like the mic is I know he's, he's you know he's plugged in, it's a contact mic or whatever he's doing. But super, super sharp toppy sound. The hybrid picking accentuates it even more. Um, and just totally dig the reggae vibe. Feeling it. When I'm back at life, when I'm back and back and laugh. Those were those are two hot little hits there. The bass player is pushing. Nice drop. My heart got stung, but I didn't much care. I said no one can hurt me there. Now that I <laughs> yes. I decided I was home from a robot home. Hope I didn't wait too long. When will I? When will I? When will I? Yeah, yeah. When will I love back in love? When will I? 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 Really cool stuff in there. Now, he's, again, he's tuned differently. He's doing so many open string stuff. Uh, but there's, it, he's he's doing some really interesting stuff in there. He's He's got a wild approach. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. I know he's going to, I know he's going to just crush it in a little bit. Let, let's let's keep going. 733. Oh, I loved a woman because she couldn't let go. Was putting on my walking shoes. Well, she was crowned up some genuine blues. <laughs> well, I lived the life I fought the troubles and lovers and strife I tried to understand what went wrong Why I stand on the singing this Singing this, singing this song When will I? When will I? Yes When will I live back and left? When will I die? When will I? When I live back and forth the harmonics he's all over the place and listen to the bass grab after this what's he doing that the Dig it, dig it. So he's going off that F minor here, right? But minor seven, and then throw in that E flat chord, right? Your five chord right under it. So it's acting like a sus. Love it. The hybrid. stuff I'm, he's really playing it like an electric it, it's like equal electric and acoustic all the harmonics and the bends and the open strings and all, the, the way he articulates it i mean 
It's really, really unique and interesting. It's just flowing. I love how he switched to playing crazy licks and lines to doing a total rhythmic textured kind of cascading thing. Very, very cool. And you can see he's so loose on stage. Just looking at everybody in the band, looking around the room. You know, very, very cool. That was so cool. He did he did a walk up, you know, in key fours and fives basically, you know, you know, he'll something like that. Yeah, and then he goes into this. So we've done the rhythmic cascade thing, and then just, he just goes for a, just a sustainy note on the acoustic like this, and the band brings it down for him. serious hybrid picking on the acoustic. I mean, he's just hammering out the chord changes, nailing the arpeggios. Um, I mean, no shot I can play that. Um, this dude is wild. I forgot. He's so loose and comfortable on stage, dude. thing again. Knowing your inversions, man. Just knowing where all your chords are front to back. theatrical I mean it's it, it just builds and builds and builds and, and again there's those cascading rhythm parts it's so textured it's so layered but it's just a three-piece right you got reggae vibes but then it like becomes this 
totally improv, like, you know, he, he gets, I mean, he's clearly, I mean, he's totally a virtuoso. Like, I, I, it's so unique and interesting to me um, that as a three-piece, this is what they're bringing to people. Very cool. Oh, no. Very, 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 very cool. Um, I don't really know what to say. I, I mean, I can't play like that. Um, you know, your basic broad strokes, you know, uh, one, five, six, four um, in A flat, it's tuned down to E flat. Uh, great singing, you know, perfect reggae feel and, and voice for that melody. Bum, bum, super memorable, super catchy. Uh, and then within that, you have just really virtuosic playing. Like it's, he's playing it, it's like equal parts electric and acoustic. He's doing things, I mean, it's equal. Like it's, he's, he, it's fascinating, really. And the fact that they're going out as a three piece and it's so loose like that with so much attention to detail, all anchored with a total hooky song. Um, and his, you know, how the, how the dynamic they are, how they bring it down for the lead, and how he, he's doing single note stuff. He's doing palm muted hybrid arpeggios uh, to the moon back. Um, all the little hits. It's just, there's, there's so much to talk about. There's so much in here. Thank you, Colby and, and Alvin, for uh, making me listen to him again. It's been a decade at least since I've listened to any Monty Montgomery. Um, Monty, if you see this, you're the man. And Darren, again, thank you for that note in the beginning. Uh, you, if you guys do email me at support at guitargate.com, just know that um, I really have, I get a tremendous amount of emails. So I always get back to you, but sometimes it takes me like, sometimes it's even like a month or so. So forgive me for that, but thank you for bringing that to light. This is an incredibly hard time for musicians uh, and anybody that is cash and carry lives in that cash world where you go there you do the work you get the money you go home like that all the people in the in the in the in the restaurant bar industry um i feel your pain um i don't know if anybody else has out there but i donated to the barstool fund to try to help places like this um i have friends that i've talked to and reached out to who are literally destitute i mean i please uh give if you can reach out if you need help. This is a time for that. Um, you'd be surprised how many people love you and have your back. And like I said before, we'll try to move mountains for you if if you only speak up. Uh, we will all get through this, but it's going to take us all in our various forms of doing that. And that's it. Thank you all. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. And always, if you'd like to take the extra step to support this free stuff on YouTube here, uh, and you're looking for an online learning resource, I invite you to click the link in the description. Join me and so many others like Alvin, uh, who is a lifetime member, I believe, uh, over on GuitarGate. You get all my lessons, you get all my courses, you get React requests, which turns into like this amazing page to find awesome music, um, an incredible community of people uh, that motivate and inspire me, uh, not just them, to keep picking this thing up every day and to try to get just a little bit better. That's it. Cheers. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Monty Montgomery. Monty. Oh, Monty.